Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen. I'm a Mohawk from a reserve called Gunawage, just outside of Montreal in Canada. And I recently moved to Antigua with my boyfriend. So we've been here for about seven months now. And we uh, just moved into a new house. It's a gorgeous house. I'm sitting here looking at like the most amazing view ever. So we wake up to this every morning. This is the, the balcony coming out of the master bedroom and it's just, it's a beautiful view. We do live in the countryside, so there's a lot of goats and chickens, as you can clearly hear. And there's the goats passing someone's yard. <laughs> See, it's always busy, it's always noisy around here. There's always donkeys or goats or chickens or parrots or all kinds of stuff going on. But we love it, it's a nice area, nice people. Um, so yeah, we're really happy with where we moved. I apologize for not posting a video in the last four weeks I've been really busy. I did mention in a, a video in the past that I was going on a work trip So I did go home. I did go back to Canada for three weeks and my main focus was um, Training and stuff for work. I was really focusing on my, my self-development So I wasn't really wanting to focus on YouTube or editing videos. That was my main priority and also my other priority was on my downtime and on my weekends I really wanted to spend as much time with my family and friends as possible. So Anytime I got I was either with my my mom or my sister or my nephew my friends and That's what this video is going to be about So I just want to show you all the times that I got to spend with them So going on dinners or shopping and just stuff like that. I hope you guys enjoy it. It was a lot of fun I'm really fortunate that I got to to get a, a three-week trip home It really benefited me uh, for work and for my soul and being with my family. So uh, yeah, I'll roll the clips right now Hey guys So I always keep it like super casual on a plane I want to be comfy like as close to pajamas as possible This is an extra large t-shirt from So You um, It's super comfortable It's I think it's a, men, a men's t-shirt But I just like it um, I could wear it as like a t-shirt dress sometimes uh, I like to wear it to bed too and it's super soft and comfortable. I highly suggest not to read a book about a plane crash while you're on a plane. <laughs> I was low-key having like little panic attacks as I was reading about a plane crash. I was like, okay, why are we having turbulence right now? <laughs> How cool is this shirt? It's like uh, copying like the Supreme shirts, but it says indigenous. It's super cute. It's super good material too, very soft. I actually ordered this like a while back, so I don't even know what's inside. Ooh! I remember I got the Jerunka elephant acid trip thing yeah so I got the acid trip and it comes with the TLC Frambu's glycolic night serum the C firma day serum and virgin um, marula luxury facial oil so that's good packaging and I love this like it's really been transforming my skin I feel like uh, my breakouts are going away because of it. I've been wearing it um, Right before I go to bed. So I really like this. So this is a bigger size it came with I already love the vitamin C serum. It's uh, it's really expensive So I don't buy it often, but I'm glad it came in this little box and I haven't even tried this yet So now I have two of them. Hopefully it's a good product. What else did I get? Oh yeah, so I got the the clearing skin wash from Dermalogica. It's from their uh, Medibac clearing line. So I, I believe that's like their acne line. And I love this. Like this is my favorite cleansing skin wash. My friend Jessica from Dermalogica Montreal actually recommended it, and I've been using it ever since. So I figured I'd pick up like the biggest size. It's not cheap, but it really lasts forever. A little goes a long way. Literally, I use like the smallest amount and it goes a long way, so. Ooh, this is another really good one that she recommended. Uh, so Daily Superfoliant, it's like a charcoal powder and it's super good. Like, it exfoliates your face so well. My face feels like a baby's butt, like it's literally so smooth after. You won't understand until you try it. It's actually really, really good. And you can use it every single day, so. This is a good exfoliant to have, and I've been um, running low on my other one, so I got another one. And I figured I would do a giveaway soon, and maybe this could be it. If not, I'll just use it myself, but that's a cute little giveaway. It was on 
sale so when i see like sale kits like this i'd like to pick it up just to, in case i have a giveaway it's cute ikea with the mom hey stacy check out her pants <laughs> she's got the same pants as you the couches I wish I could take them home. How much are they though? They're so cute. So I switch up my merchandise every month. So whatever I don't sell, I end up returning. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's good. It keeps variety. Yeah. It's, uh, and it's all about, because like you see, there's not, there's like some of them. I mean, I had doubles of some depending on the supplier, but, um, a lot of the stuff I get one of each, it's just a sample. So it's like really first come first serve. If you miss out, it's like, sorry. I love how there's like all different textures too. Yeah. Like so many different materials, colors. <gasps> I like this. I saw this on Thea. Oh That's so God, cute. I'm obsessed with it. And no, yeah. even looked at it twice. They're really? Like, yeah, and I'm like, no, it's so sick on. Like, you don't even understand. It's pretty. I mean, I wouldn't wear it like Thea with just a bra. <laughs> Maybe a tank top. I something to go under. I have okay. Tops. It does make you feel like rich and fabulous. Right? <laughs> I think I like this side better. I do. So, because I spent over $100. I got a free bag from Gia Gunawage and Sky is actually awesome. Like she asked me my size and she pretty much knows my style, I guess, from Instagram and just in real life. And um, she picked some pieces that she thought I would like and I got most of them. <laughs> I think everything, yeah, everything I picked is something that she chose for me. I'm just doing this on my bed, so <laughs> I'm sorry for the lighting and like bad quality, but this is a shirt I got and it's super nice. If you can tell, I'll zoom in, like look at the quality and like the detail on this, these little pearls. It's so delicate and it's like this very um, sheer and see-through uh, shirt. So you definitely have to put something underneath like a nice uh, bralette or uh, if you're not comfortable showing that much skin, you can always put like just a tee. A little tank top or or something i also got this basic white tee and she's just like a loose fitting nice shirt and it has a cut out v-neck which is really cool and like trendy this is not a dress for me it's a a little girl size 14 i think and it's a really cute just and it was only ten dollars like i couldn't say no to it i think i'm gonna give it to one of my little cousins this is another one i got for my uh cousin look how cute it is and i have a dress exactly like this i got this it's like um a trench coat it's really long and flowy and it stays open there's no um there's no button or anything there's pockets too in the front and it has like the the collar or the front that like flows out if you know what i mean i got six items and i spent 170 dollars like to me that's amazing everything is like really good quality too pretty impressed and i'm really happy with all my purchases and the sky is awesome so if you're in the gunawaga area Shadagi, Montreal or something, you should definitely check out her uh, little pop-up shop in her house. Woohoo! Ladies night! Yo, that door's heavy. Uh, that door was so heavy, I almost fell over. Six people, right? Yeah. <laughs> it looks good. Picture on picture? No, no. The sun rises over there. That's so crazy. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Alrighty, so who's ready to win some prizes? Puppies, puppies, puppies! Come here, come here! Hi, hi, did you miss me? Did you miss me? Hi, 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 hi! I missed you! I missed you! <laughs> They're going crazy. That's for me? Oh, that's so nice, Agopinas. 
Is it good? No, here, give me it so it doesn't get mad. Is it good? <laughs> okay. We're coming, we're coming. Here, Johnny. There was one. was all of us. Legends Barbershop. I thought it was just for um, for guys to get their hair done, but apparently, like they do whoever, I guess. It's a new barbershop in Gunawage, and actually, one of my friends, Yahande, her younger sister, is uh, a hairstylist there or a hairdresser. Um, I'm not sure what they like to be called, but so this will be my first time at Legends uh, Barbershop, and also my first time uh, getting my hair cut by by her sister. I really only trust a few people with my hair because I've had some very terrible haircuts that I'm like super upset in the end. Um, I, don't, I don't do much either. A lot of the times I'm just getting a trim because I like my hair to be straight and long and that's it. I don't really like going outside of the box because I'm always disappointed. So sometimes like when I've had a hairdresser for a while and they're like, okay, let's do some Let's do some layers or let's change it up and they do it and I hate it and it's not done nice It's like done choppy. So right now I'm gonna see how she does uh, I've seen her her work on Facebook and Instagram and Stuff like that. So I know she's uh, she's really good and she's been uh, working hard and she went to school for it, too So um, I think it'll be fine if anything. I'll let you guys know and I'll let her know but um, I'm just getting a trim, but my hair is so long right now. Like look at this my hair goes down to, I think it passes like where the beginning of my butt, like it's, it's super, it's super long right now and a lot of it is dead, like if you look at the ends of it, oh my god, that looks like hay, like look at the end of my hair, it's so crusty, yeah, I need a haircut. Little barbershop sign, cute. The nipple. I, oh, that's what you're telling me. <laughs> or maybe bottom, the bottom of the breast. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom. There we go. Oh, you yeah. sure? So that way we can be specific <laughs> for your viewers. <laughs> yeah, you can do eight if you want. All right. Yeah, there you go. And then it'd be like the bottom of the breast. Okay. Well, welcome home and safe Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Have a good night. Did we throw it up in the air? Throw it up. <laughs> <laughs> it up in the air. It's all gone. I got a bob. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not that. It's not that short. The perfect length. <laughs> there would be like several parking spots. <laughs> I know. Why are you blocking this off? We're stalking these people to get their parking spot. We'll find out. Oh, 
I don't need. Naked, really? That's cool. so live tonight. This has really, really been one of our best stops on the tour. Yeah, you guys, you guys killed it, and I can't wait to come back and do this again for you all. But we got one more thing before we go. Let's get everybody to look at Tim, and on the count of three, we're going to scream real loud, all right? One, two, three. Pictures though, it's a video. <laughs> it's it's for the vlog. Can you see it? Hashtag Gonawaga Tourism. Hashtag Rest Tour. Hashtag Tribe Called Red. <laughs> I can't see you, Angus. I can't see your little head. Why are you riding? All right, let's do a nice one. Let's do a nice one. Ready? We'll hold you a nice one. Oh, and you just see the legs. Yeah.
so that was all the footage that I, I took while I was in Canada and now that I'm home I'm just really happy to be with Davis again I really missed him and yeah I get to, to see this gorgeous view again I also wanted to take the time to say thank you uh, just to every single one of you like I didn't realize I would have a hundred I think right now I have a hundred and nine people subscribed to me that's insane I didn't think I would get that many people I love all the support that I'm getting and I really appreciate all of it while I was home and I was out with friends people came up to me multiple people um, just saying how they're they're so proud of me for leaving a small town and sharing my experience and showing that it is possible and to just explore and get out there that's pretty much why I created this channel in the first place was to just inspire people again thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a great week and i hope you all have a great summer and one thing before i leave i really want to give some advice um spend as much time with your family as possible i i always did spend time with family but i felt as i got older and i had um a job and friends and stuff like that i always I wouldn't spend as much time with my family as I think I should have and now that I moved away I kind of realized that that I should have spent more time with them and now I just miss them so much more so don't take that time for granted um, especially with all the tragedies going on in this world and things happening lately uh, you just never know what might happen to your family member or even if they move away like I did like you never know what you never know what life might throw your way so just spend as much time with your family as possible um and to my family mom i miss you i love you i don't want to cry <laughs> um but yeah I, I i just miss like sitting on the couch with my mom you know or uh going to my sisters or uh, reading a book with my nephew before going to bed it's just like little things like that don't take it for granted and just just go and do them um don't push it off don't say like oh i could do this whenever i could see them whenever i want you never know what might happen or just just go and see them so that's my little tip for for now and yeah i'll see you guys next time